Get this party started. The pellets were going through layers of plywood, cardboard, and were starting to stick into my door. You can see video is about making that and some of the things that it can do. It's 100 degrees, and that's the only part of it. But it is unusual for that high of a dew point. 76 dew point makes it feel like 111. I have to build this target for the 25 yard range anyway, out of two by fours. It's gonna be a two by four with backing. Might as well get it out of the way here. So the first thing, you gotta do a lot of cross cutting and ripping. Okay, let's get this party started. Cross cuts first. It's required some cross cutting too, I'll show you in a second. Ripping the wood. Here's the result of all that ripping that I just did. Uh, take a wood chisel and get rid of the, this loose stuff. And then I'm going to fit the, the bottom board and the frame boards in that. And I'll make it a lot more solid. This part is done now. Now this will be the back of the target. Furthermore, because the daisy shatter blasts, holders tend to break because you shoot them too. I'm going to make one, one saw blade pass through so I can have these things set up too. He took a couple cuts but it got the right thickness and now I can fit in those daisy shatter discs and shoot at those from 25 yards away. I'm getting close to fastening these in with two and a half inch deck screws. There. This is called toe nailing. Got the old power driver here. basic frame. It's about two foot by two foot and I looked at it that distance from 25 yards it takes up about a third of the scope on my Daisy 880 which is a, a 4 by 32. So I'm going to stack the, the two by fours and fasten those to this by two inch screws all the way up. There's seven two by fours. That's the basic backdrop for primarily doing the, the pellet test inside. I'm going to put this plywood here and then in, in, in front of that I'll hang another plywood. This is, by the way, I use this for pouring concrete way back when, over 10 years ago. I think it's really 5 eighths. It might be 3 quarters up. But anyway, it's thick. The boat end didn't work anymore. For outside shooting, the 2x4 will stop most pellets, will stop all the pellets that I have. And the reason why I'm putting the 2x4s two, two behind it is I'm going to drill a hole here, right on the front edge, probably have to tilt it, and then that way the spinners, I can still use the spinners outside on the 24 range. Let me get to finishing this off and then I'll show it to you. I'm going to get it, the 2x4 is on. This is the completed frame. I have 2x4s in the back here that are all screwed on with deck screws, but they can be removed very quickly. In fact, these two here 
are from my old fence. So as they get peppered, I'll just replace them with other scrap 2x4s. Here is the Crossman Spinners and the Daisy Shatter Blast. We're going to try them out here real quick. Next up, the Crossman Spinners, Crossman 760. Now I'm tacking down plywood. The plywood is, is in fact, 5 8 inch thick. And then, on top of that, then I'll cut another piece of it and hang it in front of it, and I will we'll do the chronograph. One last test. I was just out on a walk and I thought about this. I say, I wonder what happens if I shoot 22 short hollow point. By the way, I didn't show the Derringer when I was shooting it. There's my 22 Colt Model 4 Lord Derringer. I've done a video on that. The Derringer 22 went straight through from the remote camera and this is where it hit here. So it's not really that big of a indenture. And here you have it. Did a pretty good job of stopping that. I was just inspecting this. There's an Excite hammer that made it through. The Crossman Red Flight made it through and then just dropped straight down in a pristine condition. I've got quite a backstop now. It's been a long day, but it paid off. I enjoyed this video. If you did, please press the like button and subscribe. Thank you.